a very good morning children today we start with a new lesson the first lesson for your second term exam okay so the first lesson is a poem and i will be teaching you all the poem now this poem is uh, from lesson 4.1 under under the greenwood tree and is written by william shakespeare now william shakespeare as you know is a well known dramatist a well known playwright a well known poet and he is world famous yes now by the title itself you can understand what the poem is about the poem is basically about um time passing time under the tree that is the greenwood tree that is uh, being idle doing nothing maybe enjoying your time or relaxing yes under the tree now the whole poem is about that and how the poem relaxes what he feels what he goes through uh, what he can listen to while he is sitting under the tree that's what the poem is about so let's read i hope you have your pencils ready because you'll have to mark your figures of speech as well as the meanings under the greenwood tree under the greenwood tree who loves to lie with me and turn his merry note unto the sweet bird's throat come hither come hither come hither here shall he see no enemy but winter and rough weather now the uh, as the first line suggests the poet is sitting under the greenwood tree and he is calling people who are like minded like him who want to do the same thing like him that is to sit under the greenwood tree who like to do that so who loves to lie with me so what is he doing there he is lying down there okay so if you see this is alliteration because the letter l here l and l is repeated for poetic effect so it is figure of speech is alliteration over here then and turn his merry note unto the sweet bird's throat so turn his merry note your merry means happy note means a tune so a tune could be uh, whether it's sung whether it's humming you know what's humming you just make a sound of the music or the tune you do not sing the words like for example mm -hmm. this will be you are just humming the tune okay so your note means the tune merry means happy and turn his merry note unto the sweet bird's throat okay here if you see merry note note is tune which is not a living thing but they are saying merry the note is happy okay so it is personification it is personification human ability or human characteristics is given to something that is inanimate right right okay unto the sweet bird's throat here what uh, you are talking now the sound comes from the throat anyone so whether it's a bird or an animal or a human beings also that's from where the sound comes so now which happy tune is he listening to he is listening to the happy sound made by the bird okay he is listening to the happy sound made by the bird so come hither come hither come hither it is repetition because the phrase so there is more than one word come hither both are repeated the phrase come hither is repeated for poetic effect you shall he see if you look at this whole sentence you see h is repeated here and your s is repeated here and your so it is a alliteration because you have the letters letters h and s repeated for poetic effect okay so what is he saying what you shall see when you are lying down here first thing you will hear is the sweet notes from the birds throat and the second thing is you will see no enemy so here what he is saying you will have no one 
who will be your enemy over here because you are going to be free. Yes, but winter and rough weather. Now, what is the only thing that you have to face? Why is he calling winter and rough weather as an enemy? Because you face your enemy. Okay? Uska samna karte ho aap. Yes? So, there you are have to face a tough time when the weather is rough and during winter time. Because that's the time it's extremely cold. Remember, he is an English poet. And over there, it snows. So, it's very cold when it snows. So, you will be really shivering. And rough weather means especially it's even worse if you have the wind blowing. Yes, just the snow is not so bad. It, when the wind blows, it makes you feel even more cold. Now, this last line, letter W is repeated for poetic effects or alliteration. So, the only enemy you will face over here is winter and rough weather that is the cold and when the weather is very rough see as you can see in the picture here the boy is sitting very relaxed under the tree and just with just the birds on top singing to him and he's enjoying himself okay the next one who doth ambition shun Okay, doth is old English, archaic English, A-R-C-H-I-A-C -C for does, D-O-E-S, D-O-E-S, okay. Shun means to reject, yes, not want it, okay. And what is ambition is uh, some um, people have a goal in their life. This is what they want to become. So, who, who is he saying should come here to lie with him? Those who do not have any goals. Yes. Why is he calling only them? Because if you have a goal, you are going to be pursuing the goal all the time. You are going to be busy working towards achieving your goal. So, where do you have the time to relax? You do not have the time to relax if you have only and only your goal in mind. Yes. So, what is he saying? Those who do not have great ambitions, do not have great goals, they are the ones who are going to be coming here under the tree to relax with him. And loves to live in the sun. Now, L, L is repeated. So, alliteration, the letter L is repeated for poetic effect. And loves to live in the sun. This is I N in. It is a contracted word. So one word is missing. Yes, I N. So that's why it's called a contracted word. Seeking the food he eats. Seeking here means searching. What is he doing over here? Like the birds, how they search for their food. No one comes and feeds them. Yes, he searches for the food that he wants to eat. And pleased with what he gets. So whatever he finds, whether it is fruits, whether it is any nuts, whatever he finds, he is happy with whatever he gets. Come hither, come hither, come hither. Repetition, the phrase, come hither is repeated for poetic effect. Here shall he see no enemy but winter and rough weather. I just explained this. So the poem is over and this poem is very, 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 very easy. So the poet over here in the second verse is telling those who love to live free life and live under the sun, that is live in nature, searching for their own food and will be happy with whatever they get. Yes, not grumble that maybe the food is too little or the food he has no choice. Correct? Okay? So this whole poem is over. Now what I want you to do is write the poem and the, its figures of speech. Okay. Now let me see if there is something else you can do here at the end of the poem. Yes. From the poem, find the old words used for each of the following. Two words. Here and us. Two words. This is a homework for you. Yes. What is two words? Unto. And here is hither. And does is the last word, uh, last uh, para, 
doth the D-O-T-H. Okay, write in your own words. Who does the poet invite to join? Okay, this is all I will give you. Uh, you can do this. The third one, pick out the lines that mean. Because the reason I am not telling you to write this is because I will be giving you more questions. Okay, but you can do the first one and the third one. Pick out the lines that mean. Sing in such a manner, one who wishes to join me, who gives up his desire for wealth, power, fame, etc. Life in the forest is free from ill wishes. Happy to eat whatever he gets. So you find the, the sentence which means the same and write it over here. Okay, this one is also the fifth one. I'd love to live a life. You have to complete this. Put a word that rhymes at the end over here. Okay, I'd love to live. Uh, try to complete the following poem with words that rhyme with each other. I'd love I'd love to live a life that's free, relaxed under a shady tree, and fall into a dreamy sleep with no strict hours forced to keep K E E P and sing aloud a merry song, untrodden paths as I walk along. You ask me what I do to play. No, uh, what I do to eat nuts because why you should see the next line is talking about food. Yes, you ask me what I get to eat fruits and nuts and berries sweet. You ask me with whom I get to play birds, uh, birds and animals happy and gay. And if a woodcutter put a Chop, C-H-O-P. Firmly, I would put a stop. So that means you would tell the woodcutter not to cut the tree. So that's the life I'd like to lead. Year 2 is missing. T-O, year. T-O, T-O. I'd like to lead. Free from worries, free from greed. G-R-E-E-D. Okay? So, you will write this poem also and I think that's the end. Yes, it's nothing more. So your homework, remember, 5, 3 and 1. So 1, 3 and 5, all the odd numbers. You will do that homework also. Okay, thank you and we have a good day.